Hi everyone, welcome to listen to my thesis presentation. The topic of my thesis is, is the effect of applying a natural use interface in a cultural heritage game about tourism culture. Cultural heritage game refers to using immersion experience of video games as educational tools to deliver cultural content. This is an important method to teach new generation about cultural content right now. Cultural con heritage game includes two kinds of outcomes. One is immersion level during playing the game while another is the learning outcome generated by playing the game. Further researches are needed to determine the relationship between these two outcomes. To improve the design of a cultural heritage game, a designer may need to offer a totally new method of interaction to most players. A natural user interface can be such a new method. It refers to interaction design that applies the principle of human natural behavior in it. Voice, eye tracking, gesture, all of these can be natural user interface. Applying it may bring breakthrough to cultural heritage game. The goal of the research is to apply a natural user interface in a cultural heritage game to see its effect. I have three hypotheses. A natural user interface can help players generate better learning outcomes, improving immersion level of playing it, and affect a correlation between these two outcomes. I developed a cultural heritage game about tourism culture for this research. This is a 3D first perspective action game with gesture recognition system as an input. In the game, player will play as a tourism priest. They will experience a traditional tourist legend. Players can walk through the environment and talk to characters to learn about knowledges and use their own hands to make gestures to fight and learning about traditional customs in tourism. Their final goal is to be the last evil and protect the village. Twenty six participants are included in the research, and most of them are from twenty two to twenty six. Participants are divided in two groups. One group will experience the game with natural user interface, while another group will experience the game without it. Participants received a pretest at first, and then they experienced the game. After that, they were asked to fill they were asked to fill a game immersion questionnaire to test their immersion level, and receive a post test and test to test how much they have started from the game. I will run a two-way maxed ANOVA test on data to verify hypothesis one, a T test to verify hypothesis two and the Pearson correlation to verify hypothesis 3. Open comments from participants were coded to see how I can improve the game and the research. The result shows that there is no significant differences between two groups in the learning outcome. Looking at the box below, we can see the distribution of data is similar to in two groups, where the natural user interface group have higher median and mean in the post-test. There is also no significant differences between two groups in the immersion level, while the non natural user interface group have a higher, a higher amount of the game immersion questionnaire score. As for the correlation, we can see no linear correlation between two outcomes in the non natural user interface group, while there is a middle level linear correlation in the natural user interface group. So we can see that the natural user interface actually helps some players generate better learning outcomes when they have higher immersion level. So here comes the discussion. We cannot accept the hypothesis one, for there is no significant differences between two groups. Some participants in non-natural user interface group have higher immersion level and lower learning outcome. According to the refer, refer references, they may immerse in the game too much that they ignore some knowledge to learn. We cannot receive hypothesis two either. Some participants saw the gesture recognition, recognition system did not work smoothly. So we should improve it to make sure it works smoothly and naturally to el eliminate the, the influence of the flawness. As for hypothesis three, we need uh, also we found some participants work better in the natural user interface group when they have higher immersion level. We still need to conduct further research after the interfere elements above are all eliminated to accept the hypothesis. So that's it. Thanks for listening to my presentation.